My fellow Americans, are you truly prepared for the imminent and terrifying possibility of an enemy onslaught on our homeland? Can you withstand the chaos, the devastation, and the stark transformation of our daily lives overnight? The question isn't if, but when. Are you ready? Because believe me, it's not a matter of if, but when. And when that moment comes, will you be prepared to act swiftly and decisively to protect yourself and your loved ones? Let's not sugarcoat it. The threat of nuclear war or devastating cyber attacks is real, and it's looming over us like a dark cloud. With our adversaries eyeing us hungrily, ready to strike at a moment's notice, we can't afford to be caught off guard. So, my fellow preppers, listen up. Here are the seven things to do immediately after an enemy attack on us. Number one, avoid broadcasting your location or movements on social media or through other digital means. Sharing your location on social media or through digital means can seem like a simple way to keep friends and family informed. However, this practice can expose you to various risks, particularly in sensitive situations such as during or immediately after an attack. When you broadcast your location, you're potentially making yourself an easy target for criminals. Sharing your location online, especially in real time, enables anyone with access to that information to track your movements. This can lead to unwanted attention from strangers or even make you a target for theft, assault, and other crimes. For example, if you check into a location on social media, it could alert a nearby criminal to your presence, making it easier for them to commit a crime against you. Furthermore, Keeping your location settings on your mobile device turned on at all times means your phone is constantly collecting data on your whereabouts. This includes specific locations you visit regularly, which, if accessed by the wrong people, could put you in danger. Even seemingly harmless actions like taking photos with your phone's location settings enabled can embed geocode information into the image files, revealing your precise location. To mitigate these risks, it's advisable to use direct communication methods, such as text messages or encrypted messaging services, for sharing your whereabouts with close family or friends during sensitive times. These methods are more secure and reduce the risk of your location information falling into the wrong hands. Additionally, for everyday use, consider turning off default location settings on your device and only enable location sharing with apps on a temporary basis when absolutely necessary. This approach helps to protect your privacy and security by preventing apps from collecting and using your location data without your explicit consent. Number two, do not immediately flee without a plan. In the wake of an emergency, the instinct to immediately flee can be strong, yet acting on this impulse without a well-considered plan can inadvertently lead to greater danger. The primary reason for this is the unpredictability and complexity of emergency situations, which can transform familiar locales into hazardous environments. Without a clear understanding of the broader situation, including which areas are safest and which routes are viable, you risk encountering unforeseen challenges that could impede your escape or lead you into more perilous circumstances. To mitigate these risks, it's essential to prepare in advance. This preparation involves understanding the types of disasters that could occur in your area, learning local emergency evacuation and shelter plans, and identifying safe destinations in different directions to provide options during an emergency. Knowing alternate routes and means of transportation out of your area is crucial, as is having a plan for staying in touch with family members in case you become separated. The importance of a family evacuation plan cannot be overstated. Such a plan should account for the immediate needs of all family members, including pets, and outline clear, practical steps for evacuation. This includes determining potential threats, ensuring your disaster supply kit is stocked, establishing a family communications plan, and identifying both a local meeting place outside your home and several potential destinations should you need to evacuate your city. Keeping at least a half tank of gas in your car at all times is advised, as gas stations may not be operational during emergencies. If you don't own a car, making arrangements with friends, family, or your local government beforehand is crucial. Survival experts also emphasize the psychological aspect of emergency situations. Maintaining a positive attitude and mental toughness can significantly influence your ability to make rational decisions under stress. Understanding the rule of threes, which prioritizes the immediate necessities for human survival, air, shelter, water, and food in that order of urgency, can help guide your actions in a survival setting. 
For example, finding shelter to protect against harsh environmental conditions is often more immediately crucial than finding food. Number three, resist the urge to hoard supplies without discrimination. Resisting the urge to hoard supplies without discrimination during emergencies, like the aftermath of an enemy attack, is crucial for several reasons. Panic buying can create significant disruptions in the supply chain, leading to shortages of essential items such as water, non-perishable food, basic medical supplies, and specialty items like baby formula and medications. This disruption affects everyone but disproportionately harms vulnerable communities, including those with limited resources, chronic health conditions, and the elderly, who may not have the means to stockpile supplies or access them due to shortages. Moreover, the psychological factors driving panic buying include a sense of scarcity, the need for control in uncertain situations, the anticipation of regret for not purchasing enough, and the desire to care for one's family. This behavior not only exacerbates the situation by depleting supplies, but also contributes to a cycle of panic that can be difficult to break. Encouraging moderation and considering the collective needs can help mitigate these effects. Instead of succumbing to panic buying, Planning your supply acquisition thoughtfully can ensure you're not exposing yourself or others to additional risks. Prioritizing essential items based on actual needs and avoiding unnecessary stockpiling can help maintain a stable supply chain for everyone. By focusing on what's truly necessary, ensuring you have enough to get through a short period without hoarding more than you need, you contribute to a community-wide effort to manage resources responsibly during crises. This approach not only aids in maintaining your mental well-being, but also supports the collective well-being of your community, ensuring that everyone has access to essential supplies. Number four, avoid relying solely on public information sources. After an enemy attack on the US, while it's crucial to stay informed, relying solely on public information sources can lead to misinformation and potentially dangerous decisions. The rapid spread of conspiracy theories and disinformation campaigns particularly in times of public health crises, highlights the importance of scrutinizing the sources of your information. Conspiracy theories and disinformation not only sow distrust, but can also have severe consequences by undermining public health efforts and exacerbating crises. The proliferation of misinformation online can shape perceptions, influence decisions, and even lead to real-world consequences. It's crucial to understand that misinformation spreads rapidly during crises, potentially leading to panic, inappropriate responses, and endangering lives. Hence, verifying the accuracy of information becomes paramount in ensuring that decisions are based on reliable and factual data. Leaders play a critical role in crisis communication, navigating through the information overload to provide clear, concise, and transparent information. It's essential to focus on delivering essential information promptly and honestly. Acknowledging uncertainties and what remains stable and unchanging can provide a sense of reliability and trust during turbulent times. Leaders should communicate broadly, repeatedly, and through various channels to ensure the message reaches and is understood by their audience. To mitigate the risks of relying solely on public information sources, seek information from multiple reputable sources, including local emergency services, credible news outlets, and official government channels. Cross-referencing information can help validate its accuracy and provide a more comprehensive understanding of the situation. Be critical of the information source, looking for signs of authority, transparency, and citations that back up claims. Peer-reviewed content and the reputation of the source can also serve as indicators of reliability. In leadership roles, prioritize clear, honest communication, emphasizing essential and verified information while acknowledging uncertainties. Utilize various communication platforms to ensure widespread and effective dissemination of information. Number five, do not neglect mental health and psychological preparation. In the wake of an attack on U.S. soil, it's vital to understand that the aftermath is not just a physical challenge, but a profound psychological ordeal as well. Mental fortitude is as crucial as physical readiness. The trauma and stress induced by such events can have lasting impacts, affecting not only your ability to respond effectively, but also your long-term mental health. Addressing mental well-being is a critical aspect of emergency preparedness. Establishing routines plays a significant role in maintaining a semblance of normalcy amid chaos. 
It creates a structure that can offer comfort and a sense of control over your environment. Engaging in open conversations with family and friends serves as a vital outlet for expressing fears, concerns, and hopes. These dialogues can reinforce communal bonds and provide mutual support, enhancing resilience against psychological distress. Stress relief techniques such as deep breathing exercises, meditation, and physical activity are invaluable tools for managing anxiety and maintaining mental clarity. These practices can help mitigate the impact of stress on your body and mind, allowing you to remain focused and decisive in critical situations. Adaptability is another key component of psychological preparation. The reality post-attack may necessitate a new normal, which could include changes in daily routines, living conditions, and societal interactions. Being mentally and emotionally prepared to adapt to these changes is essential for long-term survival and well-being. It's about developing a mindset that is not just reactive, but also proactive in seeking out strategies to cope with and overcome new challenges. Number six, refrain from making snap judgments about people or situations. The immediate chaos and uncertainty can lead to a whirlwind of emotions and reactions. Amidst this, misinformation and rumors can flourish, driving snap judgments about people or situations that may not only be incorrect but can also exacerbate tensions and lead to dangerous confrontations or misunderstandings. It's crucial, especially in these moments, to approach each situation and interaction with a level of calmness and a willingness to understand more before reacting. The inclination to make quick decisions or form instant opinions can be a natural impulse in stressful situations. However, it's essential to resist this urge. Instead, strive to gather as much information as possible from reliable sources before forming an opinion or taking action. This approach not only helps in making more informed decisions, but also in preventing the spread of misinformation, which can often lead to fear, panic, or hostility among communities. Building strong community ties becomes even more significant in times of crisis. A well-connected community can serve as a vital resource for verifying information, providing support, and pooling resources to ensure mutual safety. Cooperation and communication within a community can help to dispel rumors, share accurate information, and offer a collective response to the crisis. This sense of solidarity and shared purpose is invaluable, fostering a sense of security and belonging among community members. Moreover, in situations where tensions may rise due to misinformation or fear, approaching interactions with empathy and openness can pave the way for understanding and collaboration rather than conflict. Remember, the strength of a community lies in its unity and ability to come together in times of need. To navigate the post-attack landscape effectively, prioritize patience, verify information before sharing or acting on it, and cultivate strong, cooperative community relationships. These actions can significantly contribute to the resilience and recovery of individuals and communities alike. In doing so, you not only safeguard your well-being, but also contribute positively to the broader recovery efforts, setting a foundation for rebuilding and healing in the wake of adversity. Number seven, ignoring long-term survival and security planning. It's natural to focus on immediate survival needs, finding safety, securing food and water for a few days, and ensuring the well-being of your loved ones. However, stopping there at the immediate response can leave you vulnerable as the situation continues to evolve. It's essential to also engage in long-term survival and security planning. Starting with securing a sustainable food and water supply, it's not just about stocking up on non-perishables. Think about renewable food sources like gardening or even small-scale farming if you have the space and resources. Learn about water purification methods to ensure you have access to clean drinking water, even when public systems might fail or become contaminated. Creating a safe and defensible living space is also crucial. This doesn't necessarily mean fortifying your home like a bunker, but rather making sure it's secure and has the means to keep you and your family safe from potential threats. This can range from reinforcing doors and windows to having a well-thought-out plan for evacuation if the area becomes unsafe. Considering the need for mobility is another aspect of long-term planning. There may come a time when staying put is no longer safe, and having a plan for where you can go, how you will get there, and what you will need to bring is vital. This includes having a bug-out bag ready with essential supplies that can last you at least 72 hours. 
Community engagement is arguably one of the most critical elements of long-term survival planning. In times of crisis, having a network of mutual support can make a significant difference in your and your community's resilience. This can involve shared resources, like pooling together for bulk food purchases or setting up neighborhood watches for added security. Staying informed about the evolving situation is the glue that holds your long-term survival planning together. The scenario you're preparing for today may not be the same tomorrow, next week, or next month. Regularly update your plans based on the most current information available, and don't hesitate to adjust your strategies as new challenges arise. The threats facing our nation are real and ever-present. We must remain vigilant, prepared, and united in the face of adversity. By following the seven things to do immediately after an enemy attack on U.S., we can increase our chances of survival and protect what matters most. Remember, it's not a matter of if, but when the next attack may occur. Stay informed, stay connected, and stay ready. Together, we can weather any storm and emerge stronger on the other side. So, stock up on supplies, fortify your shelters, and keep your loved ones close. The future of our nation depends on our readiness and resilience. Thank you for watching, and may God bless America. Stay safe out there, patriots.